Hey guys, it's Cynthia again. Um, I wanted to give a quick tutorial on Rate My Professor. So here I already have the website loaded up. This is all you need to Google and it will be the first link or you can just type this whole thing out. Um, here you can use this website to look up professors for the university or higher educational program that you are entering. And this is really good to see if they are a good professor, if they're, you know, kind of a bad professor. Um, you can also see other feedback that people write on the professor. You can see um, the difficulty or how others rate the difficulty of the class. I think there is also an option where people can put up if class was mandatory, if there was a textbook required or not. Um, things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and try it. If you know a specific professor's name, you can look through here, but I am just going to look through um, the school. So I am attending Western. So uh, that is what I'm going to use as this example. Um, you can also see the rating of the school. So right here, people have rated it as a 3.8. And you can see the different ratings in different subjects. Um, so happiness is a 4.2. Um, food is a 3.1. Uh, and here, if you scroll down more, you can see the comments people have left of the school. Uh, so people will write some things, rate it, it will also give the date, and that's really um, good too because you can see how recent that comment is. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in any college uh, right now, so you could be a high schooler um, in your junior year or your senior year, still applying to several different colleges, you're still unsure where you want to go to, if you want to use this website to look at the ratings and what people have said of different campuses, totally do it. Um, I'm not sure if all uh, colleges will be on here. I don't know if community colleges are on here, but we can look that up right after. So I'm going to go ahead and look up a professor. Um, so here, this is all the professors with Western. Um, you can look it up, you can search through here, but it will probably take a really long time, or you could look specifically through departments. Um, in this case, I want to look up a professor for English. Um, so if you watched my last tutorial, you saw that we looked on Classfinder and we were making up a mock schedule for a freshman. Um, and I actually have it loaded up here on Classfinder already. Um, and I said in my last video for the tutorial of Classfinder to write down that CRN if you wanted to follow along with these tutorials. So the CRN for the English 101 class that we picked up was 40055. And here it is right here, just to make sure that I know what class I'm looking for. And the instructor is Katie Weed. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And we are going to look them up. And yep, they're in the system and it looks like they have a 5.0 rating and that's really good. And here, I guess this is the most helpful one. Um, right here is what others have rated as the difficulty level um, on how they this professor teaches. And these are tags to the professor. So these are common tags that other students have put. So they have said this professor is caring. They're very accessible outside of the class. They give good feedback. Okay. Um, and here, if you scroll more down, you will see the ratings that students have wrote. Um, so you want to make sure that you read this up here, not the awesome, but this, um, because professors will teach different classes. Um, they will often teach 
higher classes in the field that you're looking for or the department that you're looking for. Um, in this case, we wanted to look up English 101, but this comment is specifically for English 202. So let's look for an English 101 comment. Oh, and here's one. So they also rated the class of 5.0 and the difficulty was really low, so they rated it a 2.0. This class, they took this class for credit, and that's probably really obvious because um, I'm pretty sure it is a requirement that you have to take this class before you graduate. And um, most freshman students and incoming students take this class um, their very first quarter or their very first year. Um, it says here that attendance was mandatory. Um, they got an A plus and there was no textbook required for them. So that could be really good. Um, I know that that's one thing that I really utilize this website for is looking up the class and the professor and seeing um, a bunch of comments on the same class that I am wanting to enroll with and seeing if a textbook is required. Um, the textbook could be required for the class, but someone could specify in their comment or have that as a tag that the textbook was required, however, they didn't use it. So that means that, um, yeah, the textbook was required for the class, but they probably didn't buy it or use it at all. Um, if that's the case, you might wanna hold off on buying it if you want to. Um, I know my first year, I just thought that we always needed the material, so I bought my books, and it was really, really expensive, and I, throughout the quarter, I didn't even use any of my textbooks at all, so I really recommend, if you're really worried about that, like I was, um, use this website to look up if people actually use the textbook, because that could save you a ton of money, and... Um, you could just keep scrolling down to find other comments. And that's pretty much it for this professor. So, um, yeah, through here you can see all the other professors with the English department. Um, it seems like overall they all have really good ratings. And I did want to add another quick note with rate my professor and that is that not all professors will be on this website and that is because uh, other students who have gone to the university are the ones who are uploading this information so um, I really hope and recommend if you take a class you know post a comment on here so others can read it it's really really helpful um, but it does suck. Sometimes professors are on here because they're new or people just haven't uploaded on, on uploaded them on here. Um, another thing is um, from the class finder tutorial is I think the math class that we chose as the basic freshman schedule was gonna be taught by a staff member and it didn't give out a professor's name. So in that case, you cannot use this, um, this website for that because there was no name. But if there is a name, I highly suggest using this. Um, it's really helpful. Um, you can look up all these things. And yeah, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Hopefully you guys utilize this. Um, I know I didn't utilize this my first quarter here because I had no idea this existed. Um, and once I found it out, I use this every time I register for classes um, to just, you know, cross reference the professors and see um, if I want a good professor and what that professor offers for their class and what others have said. So hopefully this was helpful and I hope you guys have a great day.